Hi guys, today is a product review day. We got a wonderful USB analyzer. It's sponsored by F. Nirsi. So let's learn about this product. The device is the FNB48. It comes in a beautiful metal case, very well presented. There is a barcode that links the product with its manual and probably with the firmware updates too. USB input, USB output, it has the typical type C input, output and the typical micro USB in. Computer interface port. Operation joystick. Some extra buttons for functions, communications and protocols. That is more related for the ones who are doing repairings or monitoring interface communications or charging in telecommunication devices like smartphones, tablets or devices with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now let's plug this puppy. We have here 5 volts in a voltmeter, but we are talking about 5 digits voltmeter, 5 digits amp meter, and the same with the watts meter. And also, if I press the button, I will get six digits. Now, we can end the video here if you want, because we already found out that this device is a wonderful device that will save us from buying a five digits multimeter, bench top multimeter, or six digits bench top multimeter because when we do battery chargings, dischargings, voltage regulator stabilization or the current analyzing in batteries charging, discharging or linked current we need some extra digits here at the end. So as more digits we get more we can pay attention to those changings. As I said one bench top multimeter will be a lot of money to invest just for us to see what happens in the last three numbers. In this case with FNIRC, just in a very low price, this device already gives us a solution for this kind of uh, problems we are dealing with. But let's pay attention what else is offering this device. I got here the voltage, the current, the watts, temperature, I can store data, the day, the time, and the data can be showed as minimum, maximums, and average. So that is giving us what a digital multimeter is offering, not all of them, those extra buttons are already here. But not only that. It's a USB port analyzer and we talk about the USB voltage we use as source or power supply, but also we have USB data. And it does the same with the data. 
and also there is a protocol that we can choose if it is a Samsung, iPhone, Huawei, or different kind of charging communication protocols we can select in a table from this device and we got so many resources for testing and research and development repairing in just a small device like this wasn't it enough pay attention to this and USB oscilloscope for the USB port what is going on with the 5 volts in my case I'm applying about 5.6 volts here uh, let's remember the USB communication port is something that can go between the 3.7 the lowest of course to the maximum about 20 volts and this device can work with similar voltage like that and the blue trace is showing the current dual trace oscilloscope what is going on with the voltage and the current and if you analyze that just what I show you so far will save us from buying all this equipment or just to apply all this equipment time of setup current consumption and uncomfortable because the truth is we don't need any special interface to open the USB communication port is just in serial with it and let's go on also there is for the data plus and data minus so a dual trace oscilloscope and save the time with the setup for the power line or the data line the joystick supposedly is something easy to use uh, we have to punch it down or move it to the right to the left or down plus right down plus left and the back button in the beginning it's a kind of a headache but later with the time you get the routine of how long is the time the pressure or the travel of the movement and you will get familiar with it as it happens to me I guess it will happen to many of us so far is the only issue I have to accuse but as I said later with the time you get the routine with it and the truth is there is no issue with that let's pay attention to this setup I have here two multimeters one for the voltage the other for the current an oscilloscope to see what is going on in the power supply and the electronic slot to charge the circuit with 500 milliampers and we need a connection circuit if we don't have the F near C device we will need something like that to just analyze what is going on in the communication port nothing special just the input the output and pings and we can do with jumpers union or openings for voltage current adding load or extra test equipment is just that nothing special on it there is here 5 volts 590 something on the F near C and let's pay attention to the bench top multimeter that's very close let's remember it's expectable I'm going to get a voltage drop in this point and this point and probably pick up some noise on the cables too and some voltage drop against the open circuit that now is the lot uh, before I close it when I close it will be more current so the resistance of the cables and the connections will give me more voltage drop that's expectable but what I'm expecting to get is if I get 500 milliampers there to be here that will be right now let's apply a lot to it and about 500 501 here
there is the same. And same thing here. So guys, this device is incredible. It saved me everything that you saw there just in this little tiny thing that we have here. And what about the oscilloscope? We said we got the voltage and the current. Let's pay attention to it. This is the trace in one of the FNRC oscilloscopes. And let's pay attention to a big one. Let's come back to the USB analyzer oscilloscope. My conclusion. One device like the FNV48 is something that everybody should get. The reason is because everything nowadays is related with the USB. All foxes, they know that. The ones who are learning electronics, I will mention this. There is a new normative. Everything that is related with Wi-Fi, with Bluetooth, serial communication port for computers, must be in kind C connector. So if you are doing designs as a hobbyist, as designer, or projects for the school or university, the normative nowadays says we must use USB kind C. So in other words, everything like that should be related with the USB communication port. This device saves, saves a lot of money in a bench top multimeter, five, six digits, a lot of test equipment, space, resources, just to see what is going on in the USB port. FNIRC made very low price products. Guys, the oscilloscope for the price of a multimeter, incredible device. I made the comparisons with another oscilloscope. Minus three decibels in the 55 megahertz, and it can show what is going on in the wave, even to 110 megahertz. Gives you the freedom to work in the hot area in power supplies. That's great. Device like this one is an accessory for power supplies. Give you more control and features on any power supply you already have. If you want a bigger power supply, just add a transformer, bridge rectifier and a capacitor, and you will get a huge power supply with it. Not only that, I make a product review and I make a video about the application and I use it to detect low ohm resistors. Remember, not all multimeters can give you that. You will put away many of your multimeters because they cannot do it. I did it with this FNIRC power supply accessory. And now talking about this new device, the USB communication port analyzer. Guys, five digits and a half, six digits and a half multimeter. You can save the money from that. Great product from FNIRC. Like always, FNRC offering the best, low price, not equipment that you will buy cheap to put away, it's equipment that you will buy very low price to keep using it. Hope you like it guys. The device in my opinion deserves a like. We will come back with more videos with product reviews and electronics. See you next time.